Will the uh, heat mean a lot of conserving of energy, do you think, Trevor, early on? I think over the 90 minutes, uh, it'll help the game because you know, Merseyside derbies are usually pretty hectic, aren't they? Not much space, but uh, there's no way they're going to scamper around for 90 minutes closing down people. And it will give a little bit more space, I think, for the ball players, hopefully. And uh, I mean, Everton has settled down very well. In a big match like that, it's always nice to get a few good early touches. And I think most of the Everton have had a good touch early on, which will help them. This is Nickel looking for McMahon. Good through ball. He got away from Ratcliffe. Oh, and John Aldridge in a great position. And Liverpool have scored in their first attack. And John Aldridge, the man who missed a penalty here last season in the cup final, didn't take long to make up for it. The ball played through was for McMahon, and it caught Everton. Ratcliffe was out manoeuvred there. The ball into Aldridge was superb, and his finish was clinical. Only four minutes gone, and John Aldridge scores his 30th goal of the season in major competitions for Liverpool. Sharp's there again, so was Hansen. Bracewell was following up, Houghton got to him first. And Liverpool playing very much on their counter-attack, but how threatening they look when they break out. Barnes. It'll do. Oh, and that's Aldridge again! From Barnes. Beautiful ball, this by John Barnes. He curled it in menacingly. And Aldridge, who's been doing well with his head too recently, might have had his second. Now McCall finds Sharp, but this match is not over yet. Everton have still got opportunity. Especially if uh, Liverpool show signs of tiring. We're into the last ten minutes, mind you. This is Stephen McCall. And it might work for Sharp! Well, one of the few occasions when Everton midfield player has played a positive forward ball and there he is clipped it through and Graham Sharp not realizing perhaps he had quite that space and uh, perhaps a, a flicked header towards the far post might be better but uh, Bruce Grobelaar as usual looking very casual it came towards him Nevin Stephen chances here the calls there and Grobelaar wasn't sure and it was Ian Wilson who got closest to the loose ball the two subs were both involved in there. Robelaar had an escape, not for the first time, offside. Just shows you the difference by get, getting the crossing from the byline makes because it, it's whipped in, comes from that different angle and it causes all sorts of problems for the defence. That's the first time so far they've managed to get to the byline. Well, Liverpool were holding their breath a bit there. Robelaar has a chance now to clear the lines. Everton have certainly had the better of the last half hour, as you would expect for a team who've been a goal down for so long. Watson heads it forward to Cotty. Sharp. Chances here. Nevin. And outside him a chance too. And Gravela. And it's got in. Steve McCall was in there. Everton have equalised and there are people on the pitch. And it came with seconds left of the 90 minutes. And the stewards have got a full-time job on now. Grobelaar thought he had that. And Stuart McCall scores the goal. That brings Everton level and almost certainly forces extra time. Well, our watch said 44 minutes, 57 seconds when that goal went in. Couldn't have been closer. Nickel. Oh, there's Rush in there. Rush! Goal! Ian Rush! Liverpool back in front. Five minutes into extra time. And 
Ian Rush, scorer of two against Everton here three years ago, swivels on that, shakes off Ratcliffe and beats Southall. A typical Rush effort. And it's come at a timely moment for Liverpool. Well, Colin Harvey's seen his team save this match once in what would have had to have been their luck was the last attack of the uh, 90 minutes but then go behind again almost as soon as extra time started Ratcliffe Watson's up here's McCall again oh yes it's 2-2 and it's the same player Stuart McCall Dropping it wide of Grobola for the second equaliser. Headed out first of all, but look how McCall got that down and the perfect volley with the right foot, Trevor. Well, he's not having a bad afternoon, is he, since coming on? Alan Hansen heads it out, it drops and loops in. Bruce Grobola never quite going to get there. And the game we're all two all in. Who knows what the remainder of this extra time is going to bring forth. Houghton. Whelan. McMahon. Barnes. Rush! Go! 3-2 Liverpool. Ian Rush gets his second. This now becomes one of the most dramatic FA Cup finals of recent times. Beautiful ball by Barnes, deftest of headers by Rush, steered it wide of Southall. And Rush repeats his feat of three years ago, with two goals to put Everton's heads in their hands. Whistles all round the stadium. And Liverpool have won the FA Cup, the first leg of the double and perhaps soften the pain that so many of their supporters have been through recently and in a fine dramatic final surely lifted the spirits of a whole city and of the game of football <laughs> Liverpool are FA Cup winners for the fourth time and they hope that the championship is still to come to give them their second double.